in the world in this target which is known as CETP inhibitors which has the potential to increase your HDL by 110 percent. Dr. Geetha would know that the best drug that uh, we have for increasing the HDL is niacin which is 26 percent. So this could change the way cardiovascular disease will be treated in future and we will be there, not just as copycats. In any case, the opportunity to do this copycatting is over. 2005, we also abide by the Patent Act, new Patent Act, where we cannot reproduce the drugs discovered elsewhere. And uh, so we have to discover our own drugs. The, the effort continues. And uh, definitely we will be there and I'm so proud about this statistic that Dr. Williams has uh, told us today that 10 to 30 percent of the generic drugs in the U.S. are made in India. I'm so proud of this fact. I didn't know about this. Even though we sell almost half a billion dollars worth of uh, generic drugs in the U.S., I didn't know in a country like U.S., which is built on innovation, if you are able to uh, export, if you are able to uh, meet their 20 percent of their requirement of uh, generic drugs in the U.S., I think that is something. And another statistics that completely threw me off the guard was that we have half a dozen uh, US FDA plants, and I thought probably there may be another 50 or 60 in this country, but the number that was I was told was that now you have 150 US FDA approved plants in this country. And there you are, given an opportunity. We can compete with anybody in the world, and the globalization a lot of people were afraid. We were not afraid. There were people in Bombay who found Bombay Club to fight globalization. And when I was asked by CNBC in a, in a televised um, conference that uh, what is uh, your opinion about globalization, I told them that in this country, when there's a feast, Indians tend to think that the feast will last forever. <laughs> we were never given a feast. We were given an opportunity to serve the country by way of producing affordable medicine. And even then, we never thought this feast will continue. Therefore, we have started drug discovery as early as 1994. It's a matter of time, give and take four or five years this side, that side an Indian-produced drug will make a difference to the people of the world, not only in India. Once again, thank you for this honor done to me. And uh, even though I have to take another Lifetime Achievement Award day after tomorrow, I hope they will change the title of those awards in future. Thank you. It's my great honor being here and uh, accepting this excellence uh, award on behalf of both uh, Dr. Yujun himself and uh, Beijing Institute of Genomics. Uh, here, I also uh, would like to read a short acceptance uh, speech prepared by Beijing Institute of uh, uh, Genomics. <clears throat> Respected Chairman, distinguished Yes, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We are very grateful to the award, to the award committee and the Federation of Asia Biotech Association for conferring upon this prestigious Genome Valley Excellence Award to BRT. And it is certainly recognized as great honor and encouragement to the Institute. As we all know, 
the human genome genome project marked a new era of life science. BRG is very honored to take part in this international project and has initiated many following up genome projects in the last decade, including the participation of the HubMap project, the Chinese Super Hybrid Rice Genome Project, the Silkworm Genome Project, and the Chicken Genome Project. BRG has been recognized by the research communities worldwide as one of the major contrib uh, contributors to the advancement of genom genomics and biotechnology. The numerous breakthroughs of key technologies in genomics in recent years have brought both extraordinary opportunities and challenges to life science researchers all over the world. Consequently, BRG made a transition, transition from finished large-scale sequencing to solve scientific questions by large-scale sequencing and proposed new plans to the development direction and infrastructure of the Institute. We are now focusing on important research areas such as personal genomics, cancer genomics, and plant genomics. BRG will accelerate its pace in research and technology development, playing a larger role in genome research and its application. Finally, we thank the award a committee and FABA again, as well as all the scientists and institutions which have contributed and are interested in the development of BRG. We wish by Asia a great success. Thank you very much.